Hey guys, what's going on? Check out these epic fish that we just caught. We are in Panama City with Captain Josh of Heritage Excursions. I got my whole family here. We caught a ton of fish, then we came to this island. We flayed them up and even cooked them up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and then I will see you back here at the island to cook them up. Red snapper, bro? What do you think? Maybe. First uh -huh. drop down. Fisher's got one on. Jed's got one on as well. Oh, a little baby red snapper. Oh. Too small? Yeah, watch how fast he goes back, though. Oh, See yeah. Ya. So Fisher just caught the first fish of the day. Yesterday we were out 50 miles. Today we are only out 19 miles, but we're looking to get some lunch. So we're looking for red snappers and some vermilion snappers. And hopefully we can get some fish in the boat so we can go have a nice lunch. Are you on, Jen? You know it. Fish on. You could, you could still catch big ones here too, right? Oh, well, mine might have just come off. Lost it. Jen's got a keeper. Lane snapper. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a, that's a huge lane. lane. Let me see, Jen. That's a yeah, nice yeah, buddy. lane snapper. That is a monster lane snapper. Nice. Mom's hooked up. The silent slayer strikes again. You got a little trigger. Not as big as your one yesterday. Oh, it's Got Lauren's got one. Mom's got him. I just want to see mom smile when she gets a bite. There she is. Oh. <laughs> and my hip hurts. <laughs> Red snapper. That one will probably keep. That one will keep. Nice job, Dad. Oh, nice job, Mom. Nice job. That's a keeper for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Jed's hooked up to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good job, Mom. Oh, well, yeah, I this knew I didn't have a hook. How about that? In case I oh, I so the red snappers have to be 16 inches to keep. He was probably like. 12, 13, so let him go. Good fish. This is a good fish. Right here. A good fish. He's swimming up. Oh, did I lose him? No, he's there. No, he hit the bottom this time. Come up about eight turns. A nice Ooh, red snapper. Pretty fish. Good job, Fisher. Sweet. Look at that. We got lunch. <laughs> cool. Nice job, Fisher. <laughs> as soon as you hit Lauren bottom. got him on too. Lauren's got a snapper. Lauren, okay, that's what it feels like. Well, I was, it felt like I was. Let me measure that one. He might make it. He yeah. makes it. He makes it to lunch. Lunch bunch. I think he will. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna make it to lunch, Dad. No. See ya. Still pretty fish, Amy. Uh -huh. Oh, that's oh, yeah. a good one. Uh -huh. You got something good. Nice. Oh, it's taking Pull drag. drag. Really? Yeah. yeah. Look at it. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's fighting better than your grouper yesterday, isn't it? I would say so. Oh, you got something good. 
snapper? It's looking like a red snapper. Yeah. So we got fine red snapper. Big red snapper. Oh yeah, Fisher. Job, Look at that thing. Nice. nice. Oh yeah, baby. Fisher, I think this one's big enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nice fish, Fisher. Thank you. Rally basket. Beast. That's Next the biggest snapper I've caught. That's the biggest one you caught? Oh, I would say so. That's a big one. Nice job. My first bait down of the day, a cigar minnow. Going down to the bottom. Look at those nails. Freshly painted Panama City nails. I knew I was catching a red snapper in my group, so I painted my nails red. You go in. Right. You hold the fish. So you're going to go in there just like that. Yeah. And then turn your hook. The opposite way. And then come under that side. And then you just leave it right like that? All right. Cool. Thank you for your assistance. <laughs> as soon as you hit bottom, you get bites. You just got to be ready for it. There's no time for messing around. Wow. Got one! Woo! Oh yeah, tripled up. Did he pull on you, Brooke? No. That's a good one. I got That's me got a... Nice I got me a snapper. Woo! We got three people hooked up and that's how it's been the last two days. It's like multiple hookups all day long, non-stop action. Lots of quality fish with quality people having a great old time. What trigger do I fish. have? Oh man, a stupid trigger fish. He wouldn't be stupid if he was in season. This is true. The trigger fish like the back of the boat. Oh, what do you got, Jed? You got a nice red, man. Look yeah, at that baby. Here, Unless you Go want ahead. Wow. Well, That's a nice one. Nice, Jed. Yes, sir. Back to Brooke. You gotta be careful when That's you hook these guys that you don't get your fingers in their mouth. Yeah, Big old trigger fish going home. Brooke's got Got him on. I got a little one. Everybody on the boat, but Lauren's got a fish. <laughs> you gain it on him? There you go. Probably a little Fishy's red got a snapper. grouper. Ricky? I got a little red. I don't think it's teeth. Yeah. I had to let mine go. Mine was too small. Don't worry, Brian. Deb gonna catch him for you. I had a, I had a good one. That was a good fish. Got a Deb's got a good one. Oh, he got you in the wreck. Deb's got a good one. Look at that. Oh my god. Don't let him pull you in the wreck. Oh, oh yeah, Deb. This is gonna be the fish of your lifetime right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got a good one, Mom. You got a good one. You got this. I think she has a grouper. She has a grouper. Oh, we got a grouper! We I got think it's a, a gag, Josh. A gag. Big gag. Oh, no, it's a red. It's a red. Is it? Yeah. Big Good red. job, Mom! Big Woo! red. Oh, my wow. gosh. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, Mom. Woo! Good job. Good I'm job. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'd be too. Look at that thing. Holy moly. <laughs> Good fish, now. That is a nice red. That's awesome. <laughs> Killer. Good job. Oh, I'm shaking. The silent, shaking? the silent slayer. That's good. That's good. The silent slayer doesn't. All right, my mom just caught this giant red grouper. My dad, oh, my dad just lost a fish. Good job, mom. I took that thing out. Like that is incredible. It's quality fish all day long. Giants. Beautiful red snappers, red groupers. B-liners. Good job, I'm still out of breath. <laughs> this is a trophy fish right here. That's a fish of a lifetime. Heck you yeah. can go your whole life without catching one that big. Wow. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> People lose fish when they hook them that are this big. 
and you did an awesome job. Did you know that? A lot of people can get them in the wreck, lose them, and you did it. She's a superstar. I don't think you could have asked for a better day out here. It is glass calm. There's some cloud coverage, so you're not getting roasted by the sun. It is a beautiful day out here. And the fish are buying. And the fish are buying. One. Nice one, Dad. Good fish. Last snapper of the day. That's our limit. I'll take it. I'll take it as the last snapper of the day. Ate one of those big, big mackerels. Beautiful fish. Nice job. All right guys, so we have made it to a sandbar at Shell Island. We finished up our fishing trip. We have a cooler full of fish. We caught our limit of red snappers. We got some beautiful grouper in the cooler and we are going to fillet up some fish. Victor's gonna whip up some ceviche and I'm actually gonna make tacos. We got a grill, so we're gonna fillet up these fish and fire up the grill and get to making some tacos. I think this is a baby live scout. What do you, you wanna... got? Show the camera. Oh yeah, baby scallop. So my family is swimming around and Victor, Victor and I are filleting up the fish, getting ready to eat, but you can come out here and snorkel with your family, go on paddle boards, a lot of fun things to do. There are scallops, there are sand dollars, there are starfish to be found. You can't keep the scallops, there's not a season here, but it's still fun to find them. And then if you find a dead sand dollar, you get to bring one home. What'd you got, Fisher? Just a baby blue crab. He's got a really small body and long legs. They look like a spider. That could be a pass crab, that's not a blue crab. Oh yeah? Yeah, I don't think it's a blue crab. That's cool. Cool. Little sea urchin. A little sea urchin. All right, time to fillet up this red snapper. And I am cooking it on this grill on the half shell. So I'm not gonna skin it, but I am gonna fillet it. So I'm gonna pick some of the smaller ones to cook just because it'll fit on the grill easier. Okay, so I am using a seven inch Dexter Outdoors flexible fillet knife. And you guys can save 20% on any of these Dexter knives. And I will have a link in the description for you guys to check that out. Get around the rib cage. So there's our first half, and then we're gonna knock off this other side. So one of the trips that Josh offers is to do what we did today, where you go out and fish, you catch some fish for lunch, and you come back to this island, and hopefully you have some fish and cook them up for you, right? Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It's good for the family. Bring your wife, bring your kids. You don't have to spend all day offshore. You get to have a little bit of fun. It's fun for everybody. I mean, my brothers are out there. My parents are out there swimming around. And once we're done cooking, me and Vic are going to get to swim around also. One little one. One scallop? One little scallop. That's it. That's all oh, you got to show Look, he just opened up. Look. He just opened up and spit at me. Look, look. See him open it? Mm -hmm. See him spit? Mm -hmm. He says, put me back. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay, so since I'm cooking it on the half shell, I'm not going to take off the skin, but I am going to make sure that I take out the pin bones. So I'm going to just gently remove those bones and kind of just try to flay it out, but attempt to leave the skin intact. So there is your um, rib cage bones in there. Make sure you don't throw it on your dad. <laughs> and then for the other side. Current must be changing or something. <laughs> So now our fillets are boneless. So we're gonna flay up a couple more and then Josh is gonna tell you about all the different trips that he offers. 
So we've got everything from a six hour trip all the way up to a 12 to 14 hour trip. Everything from bottom fishing year round to trolling for things like blue marlin, white marlin, wahoo, that's kind of more in the fall. But what we really specialize in in the summertime are these combo trips right here. We go fish for a few hours in the morning, we catch a handful of decent fish, we come back in here and by lunchtime I've got us anchored up on this beautiful sandbar. We're looking for sand dollars, shells, starfish, all kind of cool stuff. The whole time I'm cleaning your fish, grilling them up. We even just got some new paddle boards you can try. So if you've got a family, this is where you need to be. Cool. Maybe you could show the bottom how it's doing all of it. Pretty neat. Nice. Did you find a crab with legs? Yep, crab with legs. <laughs> Cute little guy. Nice. We'll let him go. All right, guys. So we have filleted up three um, red snappers. If I end up needing more, I can always fillet another one. So we'll see how this goes over, first of all. So I have my favorite blackening season, this Redfish Magic Blacken Redfish Magic. <laughs> the hands down best seasoning to have in your kitchen. Not sponsored, but we just absolutely love this stuff. Best blackening season. So that's literally all I'm going to use is I'm gonna use some of this blackening season and then some butter to finish it off and then put these babies in a taco. Grill is nice and hot. That seasoning smells good. Ready? So the idea of cooking on the half shell is it basically acts as like your own aluminum foil, but it's gonna keep all those juices in there and they're gonna stay nice and not dry out. So as they cook, it's gonna it's gonna be really easy to separate the meat from the skin once that once it's all the way cooked. So you won't have to worry about not trying to eat the skin. The meat will just pull right away from the skin. This yeah. is one, if you haven't watched my videos before, well, if you have watched my videos, I'm sure you've seen me cook like this before. I absolutely love cooking fish on the half shell. So they've been on for not even 10 minutes probably. And we're gonna put some butter on them. And that's just gonna melt. All right, I think we are finished. These smaller ones definitely are. Oh yeah, we're done. Over here, we got some taco shells and then this morning I whipped up some of the um, like spicy mayo that we always do, mayonnaise, sour cream, um, sweet Thai chili sauce, and then some sriracha. So, just kinda, gotta make sure that there's no skin on there. I don't think there was any that came off nice. Beautiful. Look at that, it just comes right off of the skin. assistant making sure that my plates don't go flying. <laughs> don't want to flip one of these plates. All this nice fish on it. Now our final step is just some shredded lettuce. Nice and easy and simple you know we're not going too elaborate but they're gonna taste delicious. That's good. That's really, really good. The sauce is amazing. Yeah, that's a good sauce. Brooke made it this morning. It's amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. Oh yeah, after a day, or well, half day of fishing, go hang out here and eat some, some red snapper on the grill. Can't get much better than that. Perfect.
I love Mark and Jasper out here. So good. So good. This is this is probably one of your snappers, <laughs> Deb. <laughs> Best taco I ever had. Mm -hmm. So good. After fishing, eating fish on the boat, wow. So good. All right, so to start out, I didn't know how many fish we were gonna need to make all these tacos, and I started out with three, and I gave everyone a taco, and then I think I was done, and I needed more fish, so I had Victor flay up two more fish, so we ended up eating five fish just now in tacos, but they were really good. I highly suggest cooking fish on the half shell if you've never done it before. It's a great way to just eat fish, you know, and it's a really simple way, especially just with some blackening season and some butter, and you couldn't have asked for a better day. We had an absolutely awesome time. Look at these two fish we caught here in Panama City. I'll tell you, I never knew this fishery was was quite as amazing as it is. We caught so many gorgeous fish, as you've seen. Uh, this is my largest red grouper ever. A, char a shark tried to steal it from me, but I got the better half for sure. He, he, got, he, he stole my tail, but I still enjoyed catching this fish and we're gonna enjoy eating eating him. So thanks for um, for taking us on this trip, Brooke and Victor. Um, it's going to be a memory that I'll cherish forever. If you guys are interested in coming out here and doing this yourself, whether it's with your friends or your family or just you and a couple, it's an absolutely great time. I highly recommend it. I will have all the information linked down in the description. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.